I mean, the first thing kind of, it did what it did at, at the end. I was just like, okay, I ain't trying to be going through this shit. But I know the next person I'm finna get y'all, um, I'm finna get the industrial bar, and I'm finna get the other side of my nose pierced. But I'm about to take you on this ride. Mm -hmm. It's giving a weekend. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm 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 a new I'm a new brand, baby. I'm a new brand. I'm a new brand. I appreciate the compliment, but I'm K Ken. I ain't like nobody else. I'm my own brand. I can sing, I can dance, I can rap. I'm a I'm a brand designer. I'm, I'm, I'm everything. I'm my own. I bring a new type of yeah, I bring a new type of uh, a new type of era. I bring a new type of era to the industry. No shade. I'm everything you want. All I need is a motherfucking opportunity. I'm everything in one. Give me that opportunity. Bet I spread my wings and fly. I ain't gotta just sing. I ain't gotta just rap. I ain't gotta just dance. I ain't gotta just in. Yeah, I can do it all. I can do it all. Chef, hairstylist, makeup artist. I can do it all. I bring a new era. I really and and, that, and that's what I, that's what I'm trying to really get on, get everybody to realize. And I ain't just talking about the supporters and shit like that. I'm talking about the industry. I'm talking about the main people, the big people. I'm trying to get them to realize that I'm a big, 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 big. A big, 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 big person to the industry. And I'm going to say that because I got a lot that I can offer. I literally got a lot that I can offer. I got a lot that I can offer. Single rapper, dancer, actor. Yo, we gonna do the whole day, y'all. We, I'm telling y'all. My bad. <laughs> True. No shade. I still don't know why you never did wigs on the side for extra money. <clears throat> because. Me personally, like, okay, so getting to, to right, so the fact that I'm just now, you know, I'm starting off or whatever, and you know, I'm 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 young, I'm a young, I'm gonna say I'm a young man, I'm a young man, because I'm in the age range to where, you know, I'm past a teenager, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a grown young man, but I'm still young, so and then plus I missed a lot of time in my life, so I'm still making up for that shit, so when I do literally, um. When I do literally get everybody to understand and recognize that what I do get everybody to I, I see her go. Yeah, I think she's on the other side. When I do get everybody to realize and understand that, you know, I'm not just a singer or I'm not just a rapper or I'm not just a uh oh um, damn I just had my phone to feel how I wanted it. Damn. Okay. I'm not just a singer, I'm not just a rapper, I'm not just a dancer, I'm not just an actor, I'm not just a hairstylist, you know, I'm not just a brand promoter, I'm not just an influencer, you know, god damn, that's a lot, <laughs> god damn, that's a lot of shit, every time I hear myself say everything that I could do, y'all, y'all have no earthly idea how proud of myself, of how I am to sit there and know that I can do all of these things and give the world a new era, a new perspective of talent. Like, yeah, we know, okay, you got different people that can sing, you got different people that can dance. But think about it now. How many more times or how many people are you going to get where you can get seven or eight different things in one body? Let's let let's let's talk about it. 
and I'm not boasting and bragging, y'all. I'm, I'm being honest because I want some help when I when I say some shit like it. I want people to, you know, I'm trying to get out there more. So let's just think about it. Like, how many more times or how many opportunities we gonna get to have seven or eight different things in one person body? In one body. In one body. In one body. You at the age where people taking off this new generation of young folks ain't holding no hands and I love it. And that's what it is. And you know, that's where I met with it, you know. Um I'm I was way past the point even at 14 years old when I got my life taken from me from that situation that happened. I was always like I think I was way past that point when I when my when my privileges got taken away from me for something that I did that I literally you know for, for protecting and respecting my mother. And so when I, when 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 a situation like that happened I think I lost the fact of, okay, well, shit, I mean, I can't get nobody to walk with me and do this shit with me, so I'm going to have to stand on my own ten toes because this shit, this shit, this shit for me. So I'm going to have to stand on that shit. I'm going to have to literally stand on that shit. So for that reason, I don't think I never had the option of, you know, having nobody hand down or having nobody to, come on, we finna do this. I know for a fact. You'll branch off of this, you'll do good in this, you'll be, you know, you know, I ain't had that. You know, every opportunity, everything that I've been successful in, everything that I've done, I've actually had to make sure that I did myself or I've been there by myself or actually had to do myself. So, for that reason, you're right. My generation, my generation is probably one of the harder generations because we don't have no guidance. I ain't gonna say my whole generation, but most of us don't have no guidance. So many accolades, Big Ken. So what do you think it's going to take for you to take off? I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do in that order. I'm really thinking about it in a whole perspective because y'all gotta think about it. I'm young, but so talented, so determined, and so eager. I really want it. Like, it's not me wanting it. I gotta have it. It's mine. I gotta have it. God shouldn't have never... And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is how I feel. He should have never gave me all of these talents because I'm always gonna go 110% beyond what I'm supposed to do. That man gave me too many talents for me to sit up there and be a normal, regular person. It ain't happening, Jack. It ain't happening. I'm ready to take off. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to shake shit. I got too much shit inside of me that I'm ready to pour out. I got a lot of shit that I'm ready to really let be known. Like, when it comes down to my talents, everybody know, okay, I'm talented as fuck. Okay, man, if somebody gave me that op the, the one-time opportunity, I ain't going to be that type of person to fuck up the opportunity. I ain't going to go bankruptcy quick. I ain't going to do none of that. Somebody gave me an opportunity. My point is, is that I'm going to take that opportunity and build off of every point. I'm going to take the opportunity to build off of that. I'm going to take it off and I'm going I'm to definitely go forth with it. Because I literally know I, I can do it. I can do this shit. I can do it, bro. It's my talent. It ain't like, okay, it's a possibility we might have something. No, I can do that. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it, especially with the fact that I'm so raw. I'm so raw. Ain't never had no skills. Ain't never had no training on nothing. Ain't never had no vocal lessons. Ain't never had no dance. No, what is it called? Uh, choreography dance classes. I built my own dance career up, joining teams and becoming head captain on teams or co-captain and, and and you know actually making myself known getting better and better every season getting better and better and better passing people getting better and better that's what i did i had to do i had to outshine motherfuckers i had to step into categories and outshine motherfuckers to get myself further than what i wanted to be called standard standard as normal i was never okay with being normal never because i said i felt like that 
being normal is only standard as fuck. I feel like if I'm not doing over the top of that, then I'm gonna be doing normal, and that's not okay to me. Doing norm, doing a bare minimal, that shit weak as fuck to me. That shit weak as fuck to me. That shit, I'm not even gonna hold you. Doing the bare minimum, that shit weak as fuck to me. If you ain't gonna step, you ain't step the hard way, you ain't gonna do the shit at all. I think you got to stick to one thing right now. No, 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 no. And I can't even read all of that. I can't do it. Everybody been telling me that my whole life. And I'm glad I'm multi-talented because I can always say that I never gave up and I never stopped, don't stop doing one thing. I'm so talented, I don't feel like that I can ever just give y'all one piece of me. I gotta give y'all every aspect of me. And if I feel like that singing, dancing, rapping, doing hair, acting, um, cooking, if I feel like that, um, brand managing, and bas doing, if I feel like any of those seven or eight different things, if I feel like any of those seven or eight different things is gonna make me push and go harder by doing all of those things, then that's what I'm gonna do. But I feel like that just because I'm multi-talented that I should not have to start off by doing one thing. Because no matter how much time you spend on that one different thing, don't mean that you gonna make it off of that one thing. So if I give my all in those seven to eight different things, I got seven to eight different potential reasons and things that'll get me further to get further. You feel me? Out of those eight things, I'm going to come off on something. I'm going to come off on something. And somebody going to give me my million dollars, million dollars bags. And I ain't accepting that one million. One million not enough. I'm too talented. One million can't do nothing for me. One million can't do nothing for me. One million, two million can't do nothing for me. I'm too talented. I'm too talented, and I'm willing to learn, and I'm willing to will, willing to take it. I'm too talented, and willing to do more. One million, two million is not enough. One million or two million is not enough. I'm willing to learn. I'm a black educated man, and I have multi multiple talents. That's not enough. That's not enough. Twenty four is still young. Let's be real. Y'all be acting like y'all people gotta have their life together at twenty four. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I had the guidance, I probably would have been one of those people that probably would have had their shit together probably at eighteen years old. Because I'm so determined and my head is so focused on making sure that I'm on top of top tier, on top of top tier, on top of that top tier. I think I would if I had the guidance. And at the time, the maturity mindset, and to keep pushing, and at the time, to know of the talents. Because, y'all, I didn't realize I had that much talent until I was older. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't realize that I could rap until I was about what? I want to say about a year and a half ago, if we're going to be honest. If we're going to be technically honest, about a year and a half, two years ago is when I found out I could rap. I mean, I always knew I could write. That's up here. That's up here. That ain't never went nowhere. I always knew I could write. Speaking of writing, y'all ain't even heard the full, the full song of Monster Freestyle. But this next song that I'm about to drop with the shit, <laughs> y'all know I'm with the shit. But I'm about to drop this next song called With the Shit. Y'all ain't even heard Monster Freestyle. But wait till Monster Freestyle drops, I'm going to definitely drop with the shit. And it's not spelled all the way out, it's with the sh. Like with the sh. Oh, you say you with the shit? Man, you really say you with the shit? Now we get a moment excited. When you gonna start doing bookings again? Um, da 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 da. -da. It's the motherfucking double no G food dog food dog. Um, choreographer would be good for you, yeah. But I don't feel like I can stop just as a choreographer. Choreographer wouldn't make enough for me. Choreographer wouldn't just be enough. It would just not be doing enough. You know, I'd be a great dancer. I'd be a great choreographer, but. Just being a choreographer and, and that, that alone, it wouldn't do enough for me. You need to focus on one talent that makes you stand out. What makes me stand out the most of, of my talents is I think that my rapping and my singing. 
um because I'm so versatile with it just in those two um I feel like I can do a lot with that like I can sing and I can rap now my writing is way more better than my freestyle and my freestyle like I gotta be I gotta really be feeling the instrumental I gotta be feeling the beat you feel me like if I'm little something like it or you feel me or like if I know it's serious it's go mode like we in the stuff yeah I'm gonna eat a freestyle up but my writing I never mess up on my writing I never had a, a person be like huh or what when I wrote a song I guarantee you a hundred and ten thousand percent I've never had a person wasn't Jay Moore your Jay Moore was never my manager um I've never had a person be confused or didn't know what I was talking about in writing one of my songs my pen and not my pen and pad too crucial exotic too crucial I don't think it's anything wrong with being normal um it's not anything with being normal it's just not what I'm okay with um, and it's nothing wrong with being normal. You know, being normal is, is not okay. I'm sorry. Being normal is okay. I'm just not okay with being normal. Well, that's probably... Hold on, wait. Well, that's probably what's slowing you down. You don't want constructive criticism, boo. You lead with one thing, and once you in there, you pour all that shit out onto them. They're going to be like, wow. <clears throat> I mean, yeah... I mean, that's probably why they, I mean, yeah, I mean, of, of course, when you come in as, you know, you come in as one person and you come in with one thing and then you surprise a motherfucker with seven other different motherfucking things, they're like, God damn, you came in with one fucking thing and you coming out with seven, eight. So it's leading more up to expectation what they was asking for. It's okay, like, damn, we really got a gold mine here. I would make a motherfucker rich. Do y'all not understand that? I would make a motherfucker rich. I will make a motherfucker rich as fuck. As much shit branded, as much branded we can do, I will be all over everything. Everything. Y'all know how Ari, Moneybag Yo, ex-girlfriend, y'all know how she does a lot of fashion design, a lot of brand ambassador for Fashion Over. Um, y'all know that y'all... Um, Shane Justin. Like that's who I wanna I wanna model brand I want a brand a model for. Shane Justin, Fashion Over. Um of course, you know, Nova Men, that's what I mean. Nova Men. Um Shane Justin. Um I would even do Forever 21, but that's the lowest that I'll do. I won't do Rule 21. I won't do any of that. Um I'll do Forever 21, I'll do Fashion Over, I'll do Shane Justin, I'll do um Calvin Klein. And when I really get up there, baby, when I really, really get up there, baby, we talking about Vogue. We talking about, um, what's that, what's, what's, what's after Vogue? Uh, the elements. What's after the elements? Um, um, Balenciaga, Prada, Louis. Baby, when we get up there, that's when I'm going to start chasing after them. Like, y'all got to understand, like, I want big, 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 only big, only big. Only big. The lowest I'll go with modeling and branding, baby, is Forever 21. No shade. And I'm going to hold you. That's why you put your all in one thing, Karen. Focus on one thing. Once you master it, you move on to the next. But that's the thing, though. With no help, that I'm get, I'm not getting any help. I'm literally putting all of my eggs in one basket. And I ain't going to say all of my eggs in one basket. When I put a majority of my eggs in one basket, trying to make all of this shit shake myself. When I have no help... Nobody to sit there and be like, okay, we see this man moving, we see he doing a lot, and he is very talented. Let me give him a little push. Let me give him a little push. I think people are actually scared to see me on. And it shouldn't be like that because I will, I'm the type of person I, get, I will give back, like I will do for anybody. Like, I'm the type of person I will give back to schools, I will give back to fucking um, cancer treatment uh, programs, but I will give back, like, I'm the type of person, like, I'm not the type of person to win and be selfish. Like, I love doing for other motherfuckers. Like, I love seeing people smile. So when you have those type of people that, that's on, that do shit like that, and not these selfish motherfuckers that don't give back or, you know, that don't do for the community that, or that don't help, like, you should really think about shit like that. Like, motherfuckers that's really talented that has a lot more to give. Come on now. Think about this shit. I got a lot more to give of opportunity and especially help that people would acknowledge for. 
I'm a gold mine waiting to fucking sprout. I'm a gold mine waiting to sprout. gonna run you crazy and make you give up and but that's the thing though like no matter what though i know once i reach the end i can't i won't i i, I ain't gonna be one of them type of people because the way that everything is going i can't be like you know i i, I appreciate this dad and 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 this person and that person and, and da 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 and, and so and so i wouldn't be able to acknowledge anybody but god and my mom for having me and god to keep on pushing me I couldn't really say that nobody sat up there and put any red cents, red penny cents. And y'all know what I mean by that. I always say that. Y'all know what I mean by that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I wouldn't really, I couldn't, I couldn't acknowledge and give nobody no credit. I couldn't give no, nobody no credit to sit up there and say that they put a dollar into my career. Ain't nobody ever put a cent on any art cover work. Ain't nobody ever put a cent on any studio recordings. Ain't nobody ever put a cent on any of the music that I've ever put down in the distribution label, they keep charging me. I ain't nobody ever put a cent in any of that. Ain't nobody ever put a cent on to making sure that I'm a good brand promoter or a brand promoter. Ain't nobody ever put a cent into any of my talents and anything that I've ever done. I've always made sure that I've always can make sure that I can do it myself. And let me tell you why, when I get down to the end, I can always, I know, I can do this right here. I know one thing once I get to the end I can always do that thing right there because I damn sure can't look to the left or look to the right I can't look to the left and look to the right and be like damn nigga we did this shit we did this shit I can't do that so when I get to the end all I can do is like this because that's all I've known that's all I've known. I've rocked everything that I've known to do by myself. Ain't nobody ever. I've even told my mama that she was like, you know, I, you know, and my mama, and, and even to the, to the point to where my mama, you know, my mama has been the greatest mom that anybody can ever ask to be, okay? But even my mama said, you know, I'm proud of you because anybody that wants their career to be the way that you want your career would have never put as much work as you've done inside your career. And I applaud the fuck, my, when my mama said that, bro, I almost wanted to cry because that shit is so fucking true. That shit is so true. I push all my effort, all my money, all my time, all my dedication into it because that's what I really love to do. That's what I want to do. That's what I am about. And when my mama told me that, she literally, she gave me my flowers and I respected the fuck out of that because we, bet, we had opportunities for me to do shit like nobody ever held my hand and be like, okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do in life? Does this interest you? Do you want to do that? I figured shit out two years ago. I, I figured a couple of things out two years ago. So when a person come up there and sit up there and say, you're 24 and you don't have everything figured out, I'm not supposed to right now. I went through tra dramatic, devastating things that no 14 through 20 year old should go through. <clears throat> None. So when I finally got across that bridge and across that road, you know what I did? Started figuring out shit I wanted to do. I ain't never had nobody be like, okay, well, damn, we see you starting to do this. What, are you interested in this? I had to pick up on shit myself. School, yeah, I was a good boy in school, okay, straight A's, yeah, yeah, that ain't nothing, making good grades in school was nothing, I'm smart, that was nothing, I did what I was supposed to do in school, I was more behavioral analysis, like I ever gonna hold you, I was more behavioral, 
Like, I stay fighting and shit like that. Like, that was really just it, to be honest with you. You feel me? Like, most, it's already a lot. Most of it, most of it, really, to be honest with y'all, if I can be honest with y'all, nobody ever gave the opportunity. So that's the reason why when I say as much as I can do, like, I can sing, rap, dance, cook, chat, like, brand promoter. Nobody can ever give me no, 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 um, no handout with that. Nobody ever gave me even a little help. Hey, I got this show coming up. You trying to do that? Yeah. And it's just like, I'm just trying to figure out with all honesty. If it's for me, God show me. I know I ain't just giving this talent just to sit here and look cute with it. I ain't going to believe that one. I ain't going to believe it when I don't want to believe it because I know for a fact God ain't handing out talents like this just to be giving them out. When you drop the monster freestyle, I told y'all uh, two days ago that I was not dropping monster freestyle right now. I was pushing it back a little bit because I came up with something in my head. I've never had a feature. Listen to me. I've never had a feature done. All right. I'm just starting off in my career and I wanted to come out with a bang. I've already dropped music. Y'all know what the fuck is going to give when it give when I release. I'm a fucking monster. I'm going to do what I got to do every fucking time. But I wanted to come out with Monster Freestyle in a feature. I got somebody, I've already selected the artist. They were extremely excited to do the song with me. I was pleased that they was that they accepted to do the song. They're really excited about doing this song with me. So I'm going to actually push that narrative and push that forth and make that happen. When I got the um when I got the idea of a feature with this song, they asked me, was it Monster as in Nikki? I said yes. <coughs> They automatically knew that we might have a fucking hit. They automatically knew. My job, I said I wasn't done. I said I wasn't done writing the song. I still was creating verses for it. Um and I and I and I live and I give it and I really do. Um I'm gonna give y'all two verses myself. I'm going to eat up two verses myself and I'm going to pass on the rest of the song to my homie. The person that I got doing the song um, on the feature, they'll add, they'll add flavor. They will definitely add flavor to the song. <clears throat> Your energy is on a thousand right now. Let me borrow some. My energy is always on a thousand, y'all, and y'all always say, I think because y'all be, I don't know, I think y'all be expecting for me to be dull or something like that, and I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm Ken, <laughs> I'm Ken, I can't even apologize for being me, like I said, the ones that I know graduated college and working on some have gone back to school for a second degree, so maybe it's just the ones you know, and the thing about it is, <laughs> Jesus God, Jesus God. People don't get it when you tell them the first time. So let me repeat myself and say it again. For the ones in the back that didn't hear me, that's tagging my K dog in comments. And they really don't give a fuck because they've watched so long that they already know what the fuck is going on. But for the bitches in the back that continue to say things that are not fucking necessary, for somebody that was taken through. Ooh, all of that that they were being taken through from 14 years old to 20 years old. Nobody ever insisted on letting the child know what did they want to do in their career. What did they want to actually be involved in. Nobody ever insisted on giving that child that moment. So when that child got locked up from 14 and that child began to be a grown man and began to be a young man. He started figuring out two years ago what he actually wanted to do. And then when he figured out what he actually wanted to do, he still go, went through some shit. Atlanta, Little Arkansas, Memphis, back to Nashville. Y'all remember those events, right? Okay. So all of those things, and here we are, 2023, two, <laughs> 2022, and I'm 24. Two years ago, I've just figured out what I wanted to do. You add up the math. Am I supposed to be together? Or am I trying to figure some shit out right now? I'm in the right spot.
I probably should have been better off somewhere else. I probably would have been better off somewhere else. I probably would have been better off somewhere else. Did you hear me say that three times? Just so y'all could get it. Probably would have been better somewhere else, okay? But woulda, coulda, shoulda doesn't make a difference. Woulda, coulda, shoulda doesn't make a difference. The fact that it did not happen, and the fact that I'm making some shit shake right now, I wasn't given the opportunity in the time when I was supposed to have been given. I'm making the opportunity in time right now. You haven't dropped a song singing, it's all rapping. And it is. And it is. And I will drop a song singing as well. But I definitely have to get my vocals 212. You know, like, I ain't gonna say I won't practice and shit like that because I am not a perfect singer, but I'm a damn good singer. But, but, I want more practice. I want my vocals to be stronger. So when I do get on a track, I ain't got to sit up here and hit a track 60 motherfucking times to get one note done because guess why i know how to accurately hit those notes i know how to make sure that i'm standing on what i'm standing on and i don't have to ever worry about um you know fall 